guys, the new Tanky, which, as you have probably guessed, will be called Tanky X, is now one step closer to launching. But what a step that is! We have just started collecting nicknames of all those who'd like to take part in the testing. Applications are accepted at TankyX.com. Please note, we'll be inviting people to the test in stages as needed, so make sure you submit your application as soon as you finish watching this vlog. We might need your help at one of the stages of the testing. The main thing is patience. With that out of the way, it's time to check out this fresh episode, as we've packed a lot of cool stuff into it. Let's start! First of all, the premium accounts feature hit the game last Wednesday. Secondly, we are about to launch the system for statistics, ratings and achievements. If everything goes according to plan, the long-awaited update will be released next week. A couple of days ago, our office was visited by a well-known Russian tanky Let's Player, Juggernaut. He became the first tanker to try out Tanky X and take it for a trial run. Let's hear his impressions. So this is the first player to try the new Tanky, right? I've been a tanky player for four years. To me, Unity Tanky feels as comfortable to play as the Flash version of the game. It still needs quite a lot of fine-tuning, but it already feels like TO. As for the maps, there's just no comparison with Flash Tanky, especially due to the extended backgrounds. I think it will be awesome for Parker. With graphics, it's an all-new level. For TO, I usually use After Effects in my YouTube videos to make them look better. With the new game, I will not have to do that. The videos will look good as they are. Tanky X sounds quite unusual. It gives the feel of a brand in a good way. Sounds cool to me. I think Tanky X has a lot of cool things ahead of it. The engine is different, but the essence is the same. Guys, there's no need to hire developers. I've seen the whole thing from the inside, and things are moving in the right direction. Looking forward to Tanky X. A new vlog brings a new bunch of useful tips from a seasoned tanker. Watch and learn. Hey guys, this is Criminal. Today we'll talk about three tips that are focused on one single goal, helping you become a better tanker. Let's start. The first piece of advice is about defending a base by controlling a nearby bridge. 
The ideal choice for this task is ricochet on any hull or Vulcan on a heavy one. Ricochet's excellent vertical auto-aim and high impact force allow you to effectively connect your shots to the enemy along the whole length of the bridge and at the same time stay outside the reach of enemy fire. The same goes for Vulcan, but here you need to keep recoil in mind. The lighter your hull, the higher your front will rise when you fire. Always remember that, or simply position yourself a bit lower on the edge of the bridge. The second tip is about doing parkour with Vulcan. This turret installed on a light hull makes it very easy to perform a spectacular side flip. For that, you need to start rotating your barrels right before going airborne, and then begin rotating your hull. While in mid-air, it should be easy to determine when to stop firing to make sure you land on your tracks. If pulled off successfully, the jump will look absolutely awesome. And finally, something that might come in handy for any gold hunter. Once the gold box notification is on, pay attention to tankers with firebirds and freezers. If there are several players armed with these turrets at the drop zone, you have a pretty good chance of catching the gold while being a ghost. To do that, you first need to be destroyed, then drive into the crowd of gold hunters before your tank materializes. Thanks to the way Freeze and Firebird deal damage, the first wave of tankers simply doesn't stand a chance of catching the gold. In such situations, the box usually lands on tanks that are already destroyed. Once they disappear, you materialize and there you go, a thousand crystals are yours. That's it, guys! This was criminal! Good luck on the battlefield! Video of the week! We got an impressive number of clips with Battle Parker, but as always, there can only be one winning entry. And here it is! The topic for this week is Rank Up. And to prove that your video was made specifically for the vlog, please wear the blue paint. Good luck! Halloween is coming to Tanky on Saturday, the 31st of October. This holiday has become an essential part of TO. We know that you're looking forward to it, so this year we have prepared something special. For a whole day, the game will feature a Halloween DM map with very special gold boxes. Their value will be standard, but they will be falling 10 times as often. In addition to that, the top 100 Halloween gold hunters will be rewarded with crystals, while the best of the best will also get a dream tank. One more thing. During the celebrations, there'll be a chance of getting an unusual daily mission. Earn experience points on the Halloween map. To successfully complete it, you'll need to spend several hours in the arena, but the result will be totally worth it. This will be a truly intense Saturday, so make sure you spend it in Tanky. That's all, guys! Follow us on social media and don't forget to find a special keyword inside this vlog. The sooner you send it via a special form in the description, the more points you'll get, which will increase your chances of getting into the top 10 and winning a Dream Tank and 3 months of premium. So, good luck and see you next Friday!